everyone and welcome to Muskox Monday. Today we're in with all of the oddballs. We've tried to pick out one or two of them to introduce you to at a time, which they were having none of. So we're going to just celebrate all of these ladies today. And so they're all doing a little bit different things. They've been just moved into this pasture today. So the grass is just beginning to green up, as you can see. Osprey over here is eating all the green grass. <laughs> over here, Pixie Stick is commandeering our water trough to itch on. We're in the middle of um, combing season, which means the kivutes all shutting off. So they're super itchy. So they're all kind of in the midst of itching on everything and we're trying to get them combed out faster than they're losing their kibute on their own. So you can see some of that fluff coming off of them that they're not letting us get, like Teal here who's walking by. All these guys are just kind of enjoying all this green grass to graze on and one of the cool things that we're gonna bring you at the moment, um, we'll kind of stop for a second talking about them and talk about their poo, which is one of my favorite things, which our executive director thinks is weird. So you can see some of the differences as their poop changes. So right here, we've got some of that beautiful little itty bitty turds from these guys. And that is more their winter poop. A lot less moisture that they're getting in to their bodies. And that kind of happens as well as it goes out the other end. It also is because nutrient wise, there's not as much going on for them and they're super efficient eaters. And as they transition to this beautiful green grass, things get a little gooier on the other end. And so you get a little bit more like this as they kind of start to make that transition to green grass and having more nutrients in their food. Oh, and then if we come right over this way, we can kind of really get a good look at what happens once they've really made the transition over here to green grass and it kind of comes out a little bit more gooey. So muskox poop is probably a little different than you think being that they have, they're such a big animal with tiny little poop. And that all comes back to how efficient they are at digesting all of their food. Right here we have Amethyst. Amethyst is seven years old. She is our unicorn muskox. So you can see she only has, the horn that you can see right now, um, has no long piece on it at the end. She knocked that off when she was younger, but doesn't let it stop her. I, we feel like, her one horn kind of makes, um, personifies her personality of just being very, very unique. So it sets her apart from the rest of the muskox out here. And she's been combed out a couple times already. So combing depends on them, whether they're happy for five minutes, 10 or 20. And I can see she's now, of course, they don't shed all of it off at once. And she's got one chunk right there that's gonna probably drive all of us nuts until it comes off of her. But she is still really fluffy. So there's a lot of cutie still left on her to come off. Okay. So with all these guys as they're shedding out their hair, inevitably no matter how hard JV and the rest of our interns work to comb it off of them when they're in the barn, some of it is going to fly off or it's going to be itched onto a fence or onto the ground and then it's called field kibute. So we no longer know who it came from, can't get weighed with their fiber, so we go along afterwards, pluck it all off the ground like this, and then we hand clean it. So this is actually a super clean piece of fiber that you can see. But there is always little bits of like poop right there and some pellets and some hay hanging out in there that we'll have to hand clean out before we can be able to stick it in with the rest of our kibbut. But this all gets weighed separately so that we know how much field kibbut we picked up in a given year. This year's been pretty windy, so we've been finding it all over. We found some on our walk over that was kind of in the front part of the farm that these guys have never been near. And our goal is to introduce you to Pixie Stick behind me. And we're gonna start off a little farther away from her so that she can continue her nap. So Pixie Stick is named after the candy. She is five years old. Um, and she is the troublemaker of the oddball crew. Although all of these guys are pretty curious. So Pixie over there is probably most known for her talking. She's the one you'll see in videos that we've kind of dubbed over, kind of making all kinds of um, quiet noise as she moves her mouth around. And in this crew, she's known for teaching them bad things. So the oddballs include the bird girls who are three and our noble gases who are two. Um, but Pixie here taught them how to kind of use wind and snow deposits to their advantage. So she's the one who taught them how to climb over it and get towards all that snow and wow, you're just gonna nap through all of this. Behind her, we have Xenon and Xenon is showing why poor farm staff have to clean 
water troughs all the time around here. Pixie's like, you're not getting up for anything, are you? You're not gonna say hi to everyone? Oh, we gotta get up now. So Pixie Stick is one of the oldest ones in here at five. And so that's why you're gonna notice as you're kind of seeing behind you everyone with their horns. Her horns are complete now, so she has a full set of horns on her. Hi. Kiss sniff. So these guys are curious. We are not usually in with them. And so they are curious of what we're doing in here. And I think most of them are now going to food troughs behind us as they try to find out if we're bringing them food. So you can see Pixie is almost completely combed out now. We've got a little bit of hair left on her mane. Yes, I know you don't want that combed off. They're not a big fan of it. And they do have it on their faces. And we don't generally comb their faces. It's not something that they enjoy. So we let that fall off naturally and pluck it off the ground. But. Thank you guys so much for joining Pixie and I and the rest of the oddballs out here and hopefully you learned a little bit more about this wonderful muskox and all of her antics. Have a great day.